Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. It's been a while that I've done a plan with me video because I've been traveling at the beginning of this month. So right now I'm just playing catch up. Super quick announcement. I am looking for shop owners who's willing or want to donate or contribute uh, 50 samples of their shop products. If you are interested, please convo me through my Etsy store and I could tell you more about it. Just going to go through my planner, just a quick flip through to show you the weeks that I have did a plan with me but not filmed it but just did it on my own. This is our August mystery kit B I believe and there is a plan with me video for this week's spread if you're interested in how I came upon this design. So here are the weeks that I did not film a plan with me. So the 4th to the 10th was the week of me traveling on the the 7th to the 10th and as you can see I was in London and didn't get back to the 12th so that's why those two weeks were not really film or I couldn't really film because I didn't have my equipment with me while I traveled and then this was just last week the 18th to the 24th here I did use both of the mystery weekly kits combine them together to make one huge kit that's what's the beauty of my mystery kit is that you could divide it into two separate weeklies or you could combine it all to one to make a one big one. So this plan with me video, we're going to plan from September 25th to October 1st. Let's start planning. This week is going to be a no kits week. So I decided to use this Craftsmith paper pad. As you can see, it's very um, watercolor, lots of... Um, florals and swans and I believe they come with a washi collection too that matches with that so with this week I decide to stick with the florals because they do look very fallish and as you can see it's beautifully accented with gro gross. <laughs> rose gold foil which I never used in my plan before so this is pretty exciting for me I usually turn off the recording when I go cut paper so it doesn't waste any film or space but then you know I got a bit too excited and forgot to turn it back on so here as you can see I was just playing around with the layout I've cut uh, the four the four the three patterns into four squares I've decided to use a journaling card that came with the, the pad paper pad with the spread so here I am just going to play around with its layout because I want to use these two journaling cards that I got from the paper bag, bag. I cannot speak. Fridays I can never speak. I think I should do these voiceovers and edits on either Monday or Tuesdays. But anyways, yes, because of those journaling cards, I do want to balance the page out and do the layout differently from how I was usually do it. Um, I usually put them all in the middle, but with the journaling card being a little bit taller, I've decided to use up the two section up above. As you can see here. Once I know the layout and plan that I want, I'm going to strategically place the double sided tape onto my paper. Next, I'm going to peel them off and start placing my scrapbook paper on. I love using scrapbook paper, especially um, paper pads to plan because there's so many designs in the package itself that you can recreate anything you want. I usually buy my scrapbook pad when it's on deal at Michael's. Sometimes it could be low as $10 Canadian, so I assume that's like $7.50 American. So when it's on sale like that, that's when I go and buy them. But it lasts me literally forever because I will go back to my scrapbook pads that I've used three years back, five years back just to pull out some paper. Okay, back to the plan with me. So here again, I've been ha having too much fun with my scrapbook paper, forgot about the time. They should not set a time limit on your film. I don't know, like, are there cameras where it's not up to you? I know my cameras, like after 28 minutes of filming, it shuts off by itself or it stops recording. But anyways, I'm me ranting. So with the washi tapes, as you can see here, right now the grayish blue washi tape that I'm using, the one with the foxes and the one with the rose gold garland, they're both from Simply Gilded. And the other two washi on the opposite end is from our shop. And the one on top with the leaf pattern, that is from Michael's. It's one of the Recollections rose gold washi tube. 
Here I decide to pull both washi off because at first I thought I wanted the fox with the garland but then when I did put them together it seemed a bit too thick as a washi border so I decided to just stick with the garland and it made it really nice and dainty. The washi that I got here or that I'm using here is sent from the same tube that I got from Michael's. I think this is the only rose gold washi tube that they have so if you guys are interested just go and grab it. I think they are, I don't know what's the American price but in Canadian it's pretty pricey, it's like $29.99 unless it's an everyday value which is $15 Canadian. Right now I'm just playing around with the washi. I do want to have some kind of border so that it divides my to-dos from my full boxes. However, looking at this didn't really work well so I decided to use the same scallop one that I used for the love journaling card. It looks so much better than how I had it before and it just balanced the spread out. And you know me, I have to have everything either balanced or equal or layered. I'm going to add this washi garland so it makes the spread look a little bit more cleaner and that it's balanced and complete. Because this is a no kit spread, I have some extra stickers that I didn't use from my previous plan with me's. Um, this color palette kind of matched my August mystery kit colors so I pulled out some of those to use for this spread. I'm going to lay out my heart checkbox flag down. I didn't put a to-do header because it's pretty obvious what it is. And plus I didn't have enough for the whole week. Now I'm, I am going to finish off the sidebar. I've decided to use the same pattern that I did for this spread because I do not want to introduce a new pattern or design into this weekly spread. Now I'm going to fill in my todays and to do's. So Monday I have this expo seminar and conference to go to, Tuesday of boxing, Wednesday my husband has his hockey and I got a little play date for my little boy. I'm just going to indicate that with a little teddy. Next I'll usually put in my workload, like what needs to be fulfilled when I'm going to go mail out items. I felt that that mid part needs a wash tape just to board it off from my todays. For my weekend banner, I found this weekend banner sticker here in the Mambi sticker book and it's a rose gold flat, flat matte sticker so I'm going to use that. And at the bottom here, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a background or not, I just left it white because the whole row itself is a white space so I'm going to do that too. Next I added my YouTube stickers, meaning when I film what I film when to edit and when to upload. And let's not forget the first of every month is always a bill due and also our pre-sale for our November mystery kit. And if you do stay to the end of the video, there will be a sneak peek. I've already done a little sneak peek, not the official one, but just a tiny sneak peek of the November mystery kit. But if you wanna see the actual official sneak peek, Stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm just adding more quote stickers into my spread just to cover up the empty space. I just love quotes. I need words. So this is a Kiki K uh, sticker book that I got from last year. So I just went through it because it was all rose gold foiling and I thought it would work perfectly in this spread. As you can see now, I'm just quickly jotting everything down before I forget anything. I just went to grab my planner because I am done. I'm going to put the pages back into it. And there you go my pinkies. Thank you for joining me and watching this plan with me video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And pre-sale of the November Mystery Kit is on sale this Sunday. And here's a sneak peek. Thank you my loves for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.